guys, welcome back to this channel. My name is Ronnie. Hope you have a wonderful day. If you guys are new to this channel, uh, I cover up a lot of topics. Majority of them would be personal finance, um, creating side hustles in order for you guys to get out of your nine to five. Our personal finance, how we do um, things in a regular basis in order to achieve financial freedom. In So, in today's video, it was a rather interesting day today that I had. Um, somebody um, comes to me and asks me bits and pieces what I do uh, with my eBay business. So, they were wanting to get to the end goal of you know, earning extra income, earning an extra income. But from experience, I don't think it's the money that we're actually doing it for. It's actually the process. Um, after doing it for well, nearly a year now of doing um, eBay side hustle on a regular basis, we put down roughly about two hours a day between my wife and I. Well, actually, no, four hours a day. So that's two hours from my wife and two hours for myself on this. In the beginning, I guess everyone's probably going to go through this, uh, especially if you're new, you wanted to earn an extra income. Um, I get granted that that's what you want, but where I come to the realization is, it's actually knowing the process of doing it. That's actually the most important, because if you know, if you know the process all you gotta do is just apply that process over and over and over again until you gain sales. Um, you know, it, it, don't get me wrong, when I first started, we didn't get any sales straight away. We, it took, I don't know, maybe about a few weeks uh, where we actually, I think it took perhaps a few months um, where we just posting and posting and posting with no results whatsoever. Um, and then at, at a certain point, we had one sale, um, you know, one sale in a week. And then from there, it's like, it's pretty much a volume game. That's how I see eBay. But in order for you to get volume, it's just repetition of doing the same thing over and over again. So, listing, my understanding, is the most important part in order for you to grow. Obviously, if you don't have a lot of items listed on your store, you're not going to get any sales. The more items that you have in your store, the higher the likelihood that you're going to um, create a sale. That's it. The, and it's a volume bank game, right? So the process of listing over and over and over again is, I'd say, that's more important than having the money at the end. Because the way we do things is every time we have a sale, <laughs> we, we analyze, did we price that correctly? Did we cover all of our expenses? Um, did we cover the cost of the product as well as the promotion fee, postage, pro cost of product, um, and yeah, after after applying all of those, you actually get a, a profit from it. That's it. Sometimes we only make you know a couple of bucks here and there, but at some days we hit a jackpot where you could actually get earn about fifty dollars um, on one transaction. Now, how do you how do you figure which item is selling? It's mostly trial and error. That's how I do it. There's no there's no formula on it. So you try to list a, a product. If it's that one that's not selling, then you try a different product. Try another one. Try another one. But you keep on. That's how I learn. That's how I did it. Um, and it's 
time that this is being recorded, I've got roughly about 1,000 items with the DMC raid. I mean, that sounds a lot, um, but mind you though, it's not that much compared to other resell or other sellers out there, either reseller or seller, other store, other eBay store. Um, I've seen an account where they have 300,000 units, uh, 300,000 items, and I've only got one. So, and from our formula, let's say if you earn $300 for a thousand items, well, you just have to replicate that by I don't know how many, but you need to list more. That's it. look at the money, look at the process. I mean, if you look at, um, let's say, McDonald's, for example. Um, I love using McDonald's as an example because they have the, I guess, one of the best system out there. You know, you, you order from the time that the person um, ordered um, a menu, uh, a product from McDonald's, a burger, a drink, or whatever it is from the counter or from the, um, the app, from the time that they receive an order, they have a from let's say making the burger, wrapping the burger, put it in a bag, packaging, handling, and then until the time that the consumer um, actually able to hold that, that there's a lot of process involved. So if you understand the process and you get grasp on the process on how that whole in circle work from a customer purchase until the customer receive it in their hand you just have to copy and paste repeat 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 the process is more important than the profit if you get the process correct then I'm sure the the, the profit will be there so that's my learning that that's how I learn it, it's like to me it's not like I need to earn X amount of dollars by the end of the month, or a thousand, two thousand, to three thousand, like you know, whatever it is that, that you put a target in. But if you don't understand the pro process, then you probably ended up, you know, um, trying to sell an item that will never sold, um, over quoting, or over pricing your product, um, or under pricing your product, you ended up making a loss. Um, so yeah, there, there's, there's a lot of um, I guess trial and error as you go along and that's the other thing it is gonna be if you are new the first three months is gonna be the toughest one you gotta build a habit on actually doing it um, it's mundane it's very boring you can allocate other people to do um, your listing um, but I would, well, I, I never actually do it, so I, I wouldn't know. I, I, I can't recommend yes or no. Um, you know, but for me, it's like I need to see how it all set out before it actually, for the consumers um, to, to, be, to be listed for the consumers. You know. Um, you know, we do it on an average. Got to do about about five to ten listing a day, over and over again. That's it. So it's gonna be mundane. It's gonna be boring. It sure was boring. I spent a sleepless night. I don't know how many nights before we actually created a sale. And then when I received that first sale, like okay, so I need to get the product. I was so excited that. I drop anything and everything the next day to do the transaction to to do to pack uh, to source the product and pack it and you know, send it to the customer. Now, you, mistakes bound to happen. I develop my own, I guess, um, Excel spreadsheet, uh, my calculation on how much the item's worth, how much is postage, and some 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 you just uh, you guesstimate on your best ability on how much is the postage. I mean, you can go through to the nearest
US dollar, but I just do a round figure. Um, I'll put down on an average between 15 to 20 dollars or so for the products that I sell um, as a postage. And some people would be a bit different. Um, you know, like say if you're selling a shirt, for example, <coughs> it would be a lot cheaper uh, compared to if you have a, a bulky item like what I do. So yeah. Um, learn the process, understand the process, understand the shipping costs, understand how to list, and then when you actually get the uh, get an order, understand that you gotta go to the post office or, or those things, uh, or send the item. You know, listing alone is a process, and then posting is a process, and then customer service is another process. There's a lot of processes involved um, in eBay, and the more you understand it, the better it is for you, and there's high likely that you're gonna uh, achieve you know, sales on your on whatever item that you are selling. Process, process, process. I think that's about it for today's video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to subscribe, comment. See you guys on the next video.